Welcome to Alex Rocks. I'm Susie Kividol. Hey, I'm Mark E. This week we'll be talking to The Witching Hour and Rusty from Electric Mary. Plus, we have an interview with the Complaints Department and a special live performance. I'm Batane and Brad from The Witching Hour. Hey, guys. How are you going? Hey, mate. How are you? Thanks for All us. right. Thanks for coming on board. Um, congratulations on getting, a, uh, getting a, 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 some shows out. You know, a, a, I know you guys have just come off a, a run of shows. Um, yeah. You know, what, <laughs> one of the few to be actually getting out there live, so nice one. Yeah, you know, we were just lucky, I guess, to be able to actually put on a few shows. Like, and we were just great. The, the reception we got for the few shows we did were great. Like, we pretty much sold out every single one we did. Yeah, so. yeah. Where, yeah, where were the, where were the gigs? Ah, uh, we played the Stag and Hunter Hotel in Newey. We did, we did um, um, La La La's in Wollongong. Yeah, and Frankie's yeah. in Sydney. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, um, I read the review on the Frankie's gig. Um, you guys owned it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we always love playing Frankie's. It's yeah. Great yeah. yeah, it's a it's a great gig and a great venue. Great to see you guys kicking it so hard. You know, uh, after what a year and a half. Um, yeah. yeah, really, really, really scoring it, you know. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, a couple of singles under our belt so far, and it looks like we'll be heading back into the studio this year and stuff like that to put out some new material and stuff. And, um, and yep. yeah, just seeing how the world evolves and whether we can get back out on the road. I know we were planning to get into Melbourne and Queensland when restrictions are a little less strict, but then obviously they've closed up again and you know but really for us yeah it's just about getting back out on the road playing some shows and releasing new material this yeah. year yeah well they've just opened up again today i i just read before so um yeah we'll be seeing you guys down ah. in melbourne soon you know um, yeah. Was, yeah we can't wait we love melbourne yeah it's an awesome place to play especially the sb we yeah i love there. the sb yeah a few times yeah well, we're here we're uh, we're in the sb we're virtual sb right now uh, look at that. There's the, <laughs> the staircase. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, actually, I know you guys played uh, at the SB all, just over a year ago uh, in, in the basement underneath this staircase. Um, yeah. Um, so I look forward to getting you guys back. Hopefully the Gershwin room next yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've, I've heard great places about that, that room and stuff. Yeah, like that, that's a so killer room. Um, she, had, she had a playing there on, uh, I think, February 5th. Um, which um, is going to be awesome. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be huge. Uh, I know it's about a 600 capacity, so I guess, I guess I don't know, they'll probably run at half capacity or something maybe, but it's good to see stuff like that happening, you know. Um, yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah, especially yeah. during these apocalyptic times. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I guess we're one of the first countries we get to do, you know, a few things here and there, you know, with gigs and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, cool. And look, you know, it's good to see you got some 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 top flight management there getting behind you as well. You know. Yeah, Definitely. yeah, we're we're starting to build a great team around the Witching Hour as a group and a unit. So it's a really, it's a good it's a good vibe at the moment. So yeah, yeah we got some great people that are working with us to see where it can go. Yeah, yeah, no, but that's it. That's what you need. You know, um, yeah. that's right. And, you know, some great videos, some great, really cool sound, good tough sound, good melodies, good attitude, good energy. All the, tick all the boxes, guys. Tick all the boxes. I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Oh, man. Um, no, very yeah, cool. Yeah, Sleep with the Stars has been out for a couple of months now. Yeah. Um, and it's just got such a great reaction, far bigger than any of our previous stuff. So um, we're glad that everyone's really starting to vibe what we're doing and, getting a bit of traction and stuff like that. So, all right, new album, well, writing, shows coming up. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, we just finished this run of dates and stuff, so really it will just be more of a when we can get back out and do some shows. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that the next run of dates we can come to Melbourne and come to Queensland and even go to places where we haven't been before, really. Um, and um, yeah, and hopefully we'll. I'm sure the the boys and Tame and myself will be working together and writing some new material and um, looking at getting some new releases out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to that too, guys. Thanks so much for coming on, Alex Rocks. Uh, this is Brad and Tame from The Witching Hour, and you're watching uh, Sleep with the Stars, our new single. Check it out.
from Electric Mary. Hey, welcome to Alex Rock. Hello there. Hello, how ready, are you, man? Ready to rock and I'm ready to roll. All right, oh, thanks for coming so in to thank Alex you. Rocks. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Um, hey, well, look, you know, um, what's, what's been happening in the Electric Mary camp of late? Well, yeah. like everyone, we've been put aside for the moment. Um, 
we were recording in March of 2019 and uh, just it just got stopped. We yeah. just weren't allowed. We were in actual hot spot where, where uh. the studio was. So we just had to go, yeah, we can't do it. And uh, we basically haven't done anything since. We've written yeah. bits and pieces between all of us, yeah. but we haven't got together or anything, you know. Electric Mary, there's a pretty interesting story behind that, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. Um, so in 2003, I was in New York with um, Erwin Thomas slash Jack Jones. I was playing in his band with Mazzy from Boom Crash Opera and we were doing some shows there and um, one of the ladies who comes, name was Mary Campbell and she offered um, Erwin to go to uh, Jimi Hendrix Studios the next day and he said, you know, do you want to come, Wolf? And I'm like, nah, not really, dude, I'm going to go. And then, of course, I woke up in the morning, I'm like, of course I'm going. What am I saying? Yeah. I'm going to Jimi Hendrix studio. And this was incredible for me. Honestly, incredible. Yeah. She'd been there for more than 20 years. So Kiss, um, Guns N' Roses, Stevie One, you know, they'd all been in yeah. there proper. And the hairs on the back of my neck is standing up here. Yeah. So stories like, oh, um, you know, Axel wants the piano exactly where Stevie Wonder played this song. And he had, comes with a book and shows yeah. the picture. Yeah. Hey, okay, this is where it yeah. is. Right there. For yeah. November no, rain. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Stories no. like that. And it's like, oh, this is, I'm standing in yeah. musical history here. Yes, uh, indeed. And, you know, when I sign, you know, everybody signs the wall. I've signed next to Keith Richards. <gasps> so when people go looking for Keith Richards, hey, yeah. see, see one of those. Yeah. Hey. It, it's absolutely true. Uh, there's no word yeah. of a lie. And at the end of the day, she gave me her card and she said, um, <clears throat> stay in contact with me. That's me down the bottom, Electric Mayor. And I went, oh, that's a great name for a band. Not sort of flippantly, mm. but I just said it. Yeah. And I was writing songs at the time. And um, she's like, oh, you won't name your band after me. And I'm thinking... I will. Yeah. I actually will. So <laughs> yeah. that's yeah. such a great story. And you know, we came from there, and we've been back with her. She took us to another studio in New Jersey when Electric Mary was together, maybe in around two thousand and eight or nine, and um, we worked there with Jason Corsaro, who worked on Soundgarden, Madonna, but that was all Are we through her. Bad mm. motor finger. I uh, know, uh, super unknown. Super unknown, yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. No, right. no well, that's. Uh, yeah, um, you're right. Anyway, that was there. Amazing. There. <laughs> so she's taken us on a journey herself. You yeah. Know, we stayed at her house. All, the whole band stayed at mm. the house with her and her husband. She had uh, like an underneath drums, guitar, amps, PA. That's, that's where right. we wrote the songs. We just was there. What a wow. Stuff. Fantastic. So you when, heard you, it. when you, you heard were it. in that situation yeah. and in that cavern. Yeah. Of sound, yeah. Did do you feel the energy of Absolutely. the musicians past? You know what? To me, it was like, oh, these are the things you dream of as yeah. a kid. Someone walks into the room one day and goes, oh, I actually like you. Yeah. You know, and it doesn't always happen. No. And you keep going. You know, you and, and so I now and, someone's going to go into that room and go, oh my yeah. god, electric Mary. It was the same. Here. With, it was the same when we played with the White Snake. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, Venom and I loved. David Coverdale and I okay. forwarded, can we um, meet him? And they said, no, he's, you know, comes, he does his gig. Mm. In fact, when you're done, get your stuff out and mm. move away. But I was totally cool with that because I was getting to play with White Snake and that was, yeah. Coverdale's my favorite singer when I was a kid. So we played the gig, singing away and I turned and I saw him side of stage, just standing with his arms folded, looking. And I'm like, oh, it's great. So when the gig was finished, Nilo and I jumped in the room, you know, taking top off and getting ready to leave, just like we were told. Mm. And he walks in the room yeah. and he goes, great show, man. Oh, That's all he said. Fantastic. Turned around and then left. Wow. That is me being a kid. That is me wow. 14 yeah, right I know. there. Yeah. When I'm listening to his records and yeah. I'm 14, I'm never knowing that he's going to come in a room one day and do that to me. 
Um, it was like, wow. That's yeah. so special. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Well, it's at that, at that time Very cool. in life when you are hearing that new music that does, mm. and it does affect you for the rest of your life. Absolutely. But a lot of bands now, they're not really listening to the current stuff. No. It's what they heard when they yeah. first were grabbed by music. Yeah. So, you know, that's, t yeah, I totally that's why I th get it. That's why I think all you parents out there, play proper music to your kids. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's happening. Yeah. They, they ask for Bruno are. Mars, say no. <laughs> <laughs> they ask for Led Zeppelin, say yes. yes. That's it, yeah. That's and Electric funny. Mary. <laughs> well, yeah, it's Electric Mary too. This is Electric <laughs> Mary with Woman. Uh-huh. <laughs> Plates department to Alex Rocks. Good to see you guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming in, Ash, Greg, Adam. Cheers. Lovely to, to see you. you. Yep. Yeah. Be here. Um, so you've got something pretty interesting coming up shortly in regards to a gig. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, a church gig, isn't it? On um, Saturday, six. We're of going February. to church. We're going to church. At a church. At a church. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Um, you're exploring different venues, obviously, to hmm. express your music. And it's at Christchurch in St Kilda, there's wonderful acoustics and a pretty big organ. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Is that the oldest church in St Kilda? Is that, or yeah, I think it is might it be. The, yeah, okay. Yeah, and it, yeah. It, yeah, not to say too much about the church, but it, it's been there. Well, it's a, it's a, a wonderful time. community mm. place. How did that happen? How did you guys end up scoring a gig at, uh, at, the, at that church on, uh, was it on Ackland Street? Yeah. Well, I didn't do it. Ashton did. Is Ashton's good? friends with the, uh, the priest there, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Good mates. How did you uh, make friends with the priest, Ash? Father Victoria's a cool cat. All right. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah well, uh, and that's coming up. What, what, when's the, what's the date for the, uh, this, this show? My Lord. Saturday the 6th of February. All right. So how o'clock. can people get... Because of COVID, you have to book. Yeah. So it's going to a... be beautiful. It's going to be heavenly and hellish. All right. On your Facebook page, you got... Uh, so there's like tickets I'm disgusted. Or something like that. I'm yep. heavenly disgusted. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Sounds like it's going to be a good show. Yeah, baby. All right, well, we'll... check the page, <laughs> Complaints Department. I'm sure there's a link to uh, buying tickets and... Yep. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. And we're really lucky tonight because... We're going to get a, a little taste of the complaints department live. Yes, yes. Robbie Rag. We're really excited. He's going to play the pipe organ. All right. Okay. As we enter. Yeah. Wow. Just the shitty music in the background. Mm, excellent. Oh, and that organ is, On I must say, organ. quite yeah, spectacular. Then Stella. Stella. Domenico. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She used to work down at Claypots on Fitzroy Street. She used to get up with... She, like Fred and Dave would be playing on a Wednesday. That's and Fred Stella would be the table. barmaid in the background. And they say, can Stella get up? Three times in a row. Three separate occasions. Three separate weeks. She made me cry. She was doing Goodnight Irene. Oh. And made me cry. Mm. I thought, I've seen a lot of musicians, but bang, bang. Wow. It's a delivery. And then we've got some arty farty cats who can do some experimental stuff. And then my mate Judder, who's played with us before, he's going to play with us as complaints on a certain song. But we're going to give him some space. Because we've experimented in the past, putting him down on the floor, down at the bolo, a wooden room. Microphone bang on the floor. Ditch down on the floor. And the room resonates. And this Christchurch is made of wood and stone. So I'm going to put him on some wood and he's going to resonate the house. Mm. Wow. Uh, well, there you go. Intense. Sending chills down my spine. Bang, and that's bang, all happening bang. 6th of Feb. And this is on Ackland Street. Christchurch. Christchurch on Ackland 14 Street. 14 Ackland Street. There you go. 14 and Ackland Street. Behind the prints. What, and what time? Recording? What time is it start? 5 o'clock. It's okay. So it's, yeah. Lord, 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 Lord. Early, early show, <laughs> five o'clock. All right. All right. So tonight, what, what little oh, treat sorry. have you got for us? We're the complaints department, and the song we're going to play is Find What You Love and Let It Kill You.
Disneyland. Nailed it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Firework time. <laughs> so what's happening next week, Olga? Okay, so next week we've got more Aussie bands and cool clips. Alex right. Rocks. All rock right. on, sister, and rock on, social cat. Thanks for watching Alex Rocks. We'll see you next time. And it's good night from him. And it's good night from her.